Hello and welcome back to the fully electric farm. So we have four bales of silage in here. Eight bales on here. Eight? Seven. Seven bales in here. Not really sure. I can't really remember where these came from. Either way, we have loads of bales out in the field over here. And this just proves, those were three and a half thousand litres each. And this just proves that tending to semi-dry grass gives you more per bale, because this is five thousand litres. So yeah. Tending to semi-dry grass is the way to go. Right, so as usual, the cows need food. But we could sell some silage today. So that's enough food in there for today. I think we could sell this trailer load here. And all the ones in the field over there will have fermented by the time that we need it. The other thing is the grass field down the bottom is fully, uh, fully grown again. How are the cows doing? Ah, they need to chow down on their roughage a bit more. Okay, so we need to not feed them for a little bit. We need to leave those alone. So let's find out where the best price for... No, grass silage. Grass silage. Uh, there. Best price for grass silage is the animal dealer. Over that way. Okay. Well, let's go sell some silage. Also, the field up the top there is <coughs> excuse me. Is ready to harvest. So I think we're gonna to have to be harvesting that this afternoon. But we need some money to do that with. Brakes don't work. So, let's see how much we get from this, and hopefully we'll be able to rent a harvester with the money that we get. Alright, here we are. Let's have a look. Oh, that went all went quick. Right, eleven and a half thousand. <clears throat> that doesn't give us a lot to play with. Really? Um hmm. given that uh, we've got to rent a harvester, a trailer, and a header. Hmm. Let me see what I can do. It might be the case that we're going to have to sell some more silage and wait till, till next month to harvest the crop. But I don't really want to do that. Park this out the way over here. Right, I'm going to see what I can get. So, I've actually managed to get a harvester header and trailer for £9,282. Renting, obviously. 
and yes, the harvester's fully electric. So let's go down and um, pick it up. Probably use a worker to take this and the trailer back. But we can harvest the crop today, which is fantastic news. So here we are. Hmm, I might have been a bit over optimistic with the trailer size. But never mind eh. It'll at least all the all the grain will fit into the trailer. Okay. Gonna use a worker to get us up to here. There we go. And I shall get this fully electric harvester, which apparently still has exhaust gas. Quite a big header as well. I didn't expect the header to be that big. Probably should could have done with a header trailer. But I thought the header would only be as wide as the, as wide as the uh, yeah sorry signpost. Never mind. <clears throat> I suppose while I'm renting this, I could do a harvesting contract as well. Get some more money in. That might not be a bad idea. Eventually, you might be able to buy this. Right, just make sure I'm switched on to drop straw. Yes, I am. And then we can basically start straight away. Quite, quite a high yield off this. Looks good. So there we are. <coughs> so there we are. The uh, harvest on our field is finished. We can turn this off for a second and leave it there. We'll take this down to the silo. And we're going to put it there until the price is a bit better. Um, we need to bale the straw. Bailing the straw 
It's not going to take too long. But I'm going to do that very quickly. <clears throat> but what I really want to do is a harvesting contract while we've got this equipment. And hopefully, it'll pay for the equipment. And then we can... Um, we can have harvest our, harvested our field for free. <clears throat> Let's um, take a look now and see what harvesting contracts are available. Harvesting field three, barley, that's a possibility. Wheat in field 11, also possible. Barley in 19. And barley in 22. Right, well, field three is quite big, massive in fact, uh, and that didn't offer us a huge amount of money. Field 11, also huge. Field 19, that's not a bad one to do, it's not too far away, it's quite long, so it's, yeah, could be possible. Field 22, where's that? 22 is down here. A much smaller field. But. <clears throat> a little bit further away. Do you know, if I did 19 and 22. That might be. Good. So, yeah, we'll accept 19. And we'll accept 22. Look at that. <clears throat> both barley. Both need to go to the supermarket. So, yeah. Let's quickly get the bailing done. Actually, no. We're not going to do that. We're going to leave that. <clears throat> because we're going to go and... We're going to go and get these harvesting contracts done. Right. Uh, I want to be... Where do I want to be? Down here, I think. Go. Go. What do you mean, blocked by an object? There's no, there's no object. And I'll take the harvester down. I think I can see the fields from here, look. The two lighter coloured yellow ones over there. Brilliant. Because not only are we going to make the money off the contract, but we will have a little bit left over for ourselves. And we'll make some money off the extra bales. Anyway, this is going to take a while, so I'm going to... I'm going to time-lapse it. I'm hoping that we've got enough charge to be able to do it. Based on what we've used so far, we shouldn't have a problem.
Okay, so here we've come up with our first major problem. Uh, my money's just jumped down three, three and a half thousand pounds for the continued rental of these vehicles. The harvester is getting very low on power, on juice. And we're not even halfway through the second contract yet. Which is a little bit of a worry. However, we have... <laughs> so we're not even halfway through harvesting the second contract, but we have delivered over 40% of the grain because it took the remainder of the grain off that field as delivery for this field, which means the extra we get from this field should be even more. We're not going to lose out on this, but we're not going to get any extra money unless... Uh, I mean, until we've, we've uh, transported, I'd say, two-thirds of this field. But, um, yeah, I am I'm really hoping that we can get through the rest of this field without having to charge the harvester. Because if we've got to charge the harvester, that's um, quite a long way back to the farm, then quite a long wait, where we'll be charged more for the vehicle rental. And then, um, and then we'll have to come back and finish it off in the dark. So, uh, yeah, not ideal. So, just sort of clinging on to hope here that we we've got enough juice left. If it starts, if it starts, if it turns red and starts flashing, I'm gonna have to take it back and charge it. I cannot risk it running out of charge here because because we just we'll get no money we'll get no extra money from the contract at all and we'll, we won't even get any money from this contract we'll probably lose out overall so we'll just have to see how it goes but uh, for now we'll plod on So just as I said, for now we'll plod, plod on. The battery starts flashing red. Unfortunately, that means we are going to have to take it back and get it charged. Well, it's all part of owning an electric farm, isn't it? So we'll take it back. While it's charging, we'll take this and unload it at the supermarket. Um, I don't know what else we can do. I mean, we we don't have to charge it fully. It just needs like half a half a charge or something, and that would be fine. There's nowhere in town I can charge it up. It's just the uh, charging point back at the farm. Right. Let's get it back. In fact, you know what I'll do? I'm going to leave the header here. Probably a better option. Right, time until fully charged is 17 minutes. Let's um, drop this grain off. And then we'll take a look at how, how charged it is. I reckon half a tank should do us. If we need to, we can get a little bit more uh, money in by completing the contract on field 19. 
but we certainly can't do 22 yet. Did you see that? It made me swerve. Seventy-two percent transported, which is good, because it means ne nearly half the field will be profit for us. So while I'm waiting, I'm going to use the telehandler to get in the some of the bales off of the field over here. Because it all needs to be done. Let's check on the uh, on the food for the cows. Yep, they're getting through the roughage, which is good. Uh, I'll feed them a mix before before we uh, rest tonight, but. Right, let's go get the ones out of these trees down here first. The grass has already grown back pretty well. If we can get the money coming in from things like silage and contracts and things, we can start to get some bigger machinery and the jobs will get a lot easier and quicker. Oh, it's going again. Okay. Jobs will get a lot easier and quicker, and we can um, we can start to progress faster. But until that money's coming in. We have a constant source of income. We're a bit stuck, I'm afraid. So I've got some bales here that are fermented and some are nearly fermented. Um, which is good. There's a lot of bales here. I'm hoping that we will get some... Some that we can sell and some that will go into the cow food, although I'm not... I know that we use we use an awful lot of them. But it may be that all these will go to the cow food and then anything further I, I can produce in the meantime will, will can get sold. Um, the other thing is we need to get the straw bailed up on that field up there. We won't be doing that today. But uh, it does need to be done. Plenty of hay for now. But I'm sure that will run out soon. As it always does. Let's try harder. Uh, all that straw will, will come into here because we'll need that straw. Won't be buying any more, hopefully, for, in, for the meantime.
But yeah, I'm going to crack on and get a bit of this done while we're waiting for it to charge. And we'll go back to finish, it, finish off the contract. Okay, so we're up to half charge on this. So we're going to put a stop to that. Head back and finish the contract. £25 to charge that up halfway. I don't think that's bad at all. Because it's a cert certainly a lot more to fill fuel if it was a pet but one. Right, so we're underway again. I'm going to use a worker. Because while this is going on, I am going to continue to get the bales in off the field. And I think our next delivery to the supermarket of that grain is going to start to be... Um, our profits from it as well uh, I'll put the grain that we're going to get out of it there's half of the field completed but we've delivered over 70% of the grain for it because as I said it used it off the other field off the other contract so should be good Right, so now this is empty, we can, that's not what I wanted, uh, we can return the harvester and the header. And this is the bit where we find out, we find out how much our hard work has paid off. So what we need to do is go and sell this grain. A little bit of it will go towards the contract and the rest of it will go towards well, will will be will be paid for, basically. So looking forward to finding out how much this is. And then obviously we can complete both the contracts and that'll be about another six thousand something like that to add on to it. So let's see what it let's see what happens. exciting stuff
got me wondering if I uh, I should like lease some proper big silage making kit and then do some silage contract as well. Obviously, I have to check the contracts are there before I actually do anything. But so contracts finished, and we got an extra six thousand five hundred, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, and this trailer can be returned as well. I did just have a brief look in here. I don't think there's anything that we need in here. Nope, not at all. So, that is fantastic news. Oh, and we have to finish off the contract. So if we complete, collect, collect, then that, yeah, like I said, oh, well, that was another, um, nearly eight thousand pounds so that's amazing so we are now up to fifteen thousand which is absolutely brilliant because we started the day on about fourteen thousand which means we've gained a thousand pounds harvested our field for free and We've got loads of straw out of it as well. And we've still got the grain to sell, the wheat to sell, when the um, when the price is right. So this is absolutely cracking news. And all that's left for me to do this evening is to feed the cows. Just double check that. No. Okay, so they're not consuming the roughage that quickly. But we definitely need to feed them a proper mix because they're down to 46% health, which is not good. And productivity is down. Yeah. So I'm going to feed them a couple of mixes until we're all full up there. Uh, but you don't need to watch that. So thank you so much for watching this episode. Hopefully it's been a bit more interesting than normal. And... Uh, I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.